Hey everyone, Succulents Box here again. Today I'm going to share with you how to properly care for one of the amazing groups of succulents called the Aeoniums. Caring for Aeoniums are remarkably easy. In fact, they are one of the easiest succulents to grow. However, just like most succulents, Aeonium's care needs depend on the current growing conditions they are in. So if you're a beginner or someone who simply wants to know more about these lovely plants, make sure to stick around until the end of this video. When it comes to sunlight, Aeoniums can tolerate a wide range of exposure from full sun to partial shade. However, just like any other houseplants, Aeoniums are not immune from getting sunburnt when exposed to too much sunlight. So if you're planning to grow yours outdoors or there's full or direct sunlight, remember to acclimate the plant first to prevent sun damage to the leaves. If grown indoors, you'll need to place your Aeonium plant in a spot where it can get as much light as possible to keep it happy and healthy, like an east, south, or west facing window. In bright and potentially desert-like environments, give your Aeonium plants a steady flow of indirect light to prevent damaging their leaves. Do this by placing them indoors away from the window. Compared to most succulents, Aeonium plants require more moisture. So when it comes to soil, it is ideal to use traditional succulent soil mix, then add sand or perlite. This should be enough to keep your Aeoniums happy and healthy, and at the same time avoid problems related to watering like root rot. You can also try blending your own succulent soil using an organic ingredient like peat moss or compost and an inorganic ingredient like gravel or perlite. Since Aeonium plants prefer more moisture than most types of succulents, they can easily get root rot, mold growth, or mildew due to overwatering, so you need to be extra cautious whenever you give them a drink. In general, Aeoniums love to get a good soak of water whenever the first two inches of their soil feels dry, especially during their growing season in winter to spring. In the summer months, your Aeonium doesn't need to be watered at all unless under extreme heat or very dry conditions, as this is the time when these succulents go dormant or semi-dormant. Aeoniums thrive in the Mediterranean climate, so the temperature shouldn't be too high or too low and not too humid. So if you're growing yours outdoors, make sure to place them in a warm, partially shaded spot. Since these types of succulents can't stand frost or cold weather, remember to bring them indoors as soon as the temperature starts to drop to 40 degrees, where they can get a stable temperature of 65 to 75 degrees. Like any other succulents, fertilizing Aeoniums is not a requirement, but it is a good idea to give them an extra boost with a balanced water-soluble fertilizer diluted to half strength. You can use this mixture to feed your Aeoniums once a month in their growing season in the winter and spring. When it comes to caring for Aeoniums, one of the keys to keeping them happy and healthy for a long time is to repot them at least once every two years. Just make sure to repot right before their growing season begins and to use about 10% larger than its old pot to give them plenty of room to grow. And remember to handle them carefully, as Aeoniums are known to have very fragile branches that can easily snap right off. Unlike other succulents, Aeoniums will enter dormancy in the summer months or under really hot and dry weather conditions. During this time, it's totally normal for these succulents to shed most of their bottom leaves and for their rosettes to close up, looking as if they are dying or not doing very well at all. As soon as summer is over, when the climate in your area starts to cool down, your Aeonium will come out of dormancy and will begin to open up their rosettes again and start happily growing. Since it's natural for Aeoniums to drop some of their leaves as it grows, you can use them to grow a whole new Aeonium to care for. All you need to do is take one or two of these fallen leaves and let it air dry for a brief period before transferring it to a new empty pot with potting soil. After the leaves have dried out, let it rest lightly on the top of your soil mixture and make sure to mist the leaf with water occasionally and make sure to keep the soil moist. Remember to do this regularly until you see roots begin to form at the base of the leaf. Aeoniums are always compact succulents, so pruning them to keep in shape is not actually necessary. However, if you see any irregular growths, aerial roots, or dead leaves, it's best to prune them off when you see them. To do this, 
you simply need to cut off any undesirable leaves as close to the stem as possible using a clean, sharp scissors or knife. While aeoniums are of the succulents that aren't toxic to birds, cats, dogs, horses, livestock, or humans, for best growth results and a happy, healthy succulent, it is still recommended to keep your aeoniums away from your pet's and children's reach. That's all I've got for you today. If you find this video useful and helpful, please, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and we'll see you again next time. For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. <laughs>